Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Allie if you're new to my channel and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. channel my name is Alan. I upload four videos a week beauty bible and lifestyle so if any of those interest you please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video so for today's video I have for you guys a birthday makeup haul my birthday was on the 16th of February and so I spoiled myself a little bit just a little bit and then a few of these things were gifts from other people and it's all makeup and skincare and I went to Target, to Ulta, and Sephora. I never shop at Sephora. When have you guys ever seen Sephora haul on my on my YouTube channel? But I did and, I did, and I'm happy that I did. So anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and get started and I'll kind of do these things in an order. So things that you can get from Ulta, I'll share with between like Ulta and Target. So anyways, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and start with some things that I ended up grabbing from a Target and these ones are things that I bought myself. I'll let you guys know what were gifts and what wasn't or that I bought myself. Okay, so all the stuff from Target, I actually bought myself and all the stuff that I got from Target is um, skincare. So the only, so one of the things I got was the Holy Hydration Face Cream. You guys, it has been so long since I have had to, um, since I've had to actually buy skincare myself. But the last, um, the last face cream that Ipsy sent me was actually the Peerless Sea Blue Lotus Face Moisturizer. That broke me out. It broke me out like crazy. I am convinced that that is what broke me out. And so I did go ahead. I've seen Juicy Jazz rave about this and she had my skincare by, by Hiram and like just everybody raves about this. And I love the fact that it's not scented. So yeah, I did go ahead and pick up the Elf Holy Hydration Face, face Cream. And it says with hyaluronic acid and peptide complex. So you only need a little bit of this. I've been using this literally since my birthday and you only need a little bit of this and I only use it at nighttime also. I only use this one at nighttime. And this goes such a long way and it makes my skin feel nice and plump and just mmm. And so yeah, this is one of this was one of the things I got and this retails for $12. Okay, the next thing I picked up from Target was so Makeup Revolution has skincare now and Makeup Revolution is also sold at Target now. So one of the things that I got was a Revolution Skincare Hyaluronic Acid 2% um skincare this is two percent hyaluronic acid for plumping plumping and hydrating solution and i like this now this i really really like i only use this one in the morning because the the moisturizer i have for the daytime is not that moisturizing so yeah this is really really good i really like it i do notice a uh, the way my skin glows and the way my skin feels and just how it looks in during the day, I really feel like this has made a difference. I've been using this also since my birthday and you can see I've made just a tiny, tiny dent in it, about the same amount that I made in the in this. And it, like this isn't breaking me out either. I've been using it for a couple weeks now. And like I said, yeah, so I've been using both of these for a couple weeks now because I used it the entire week of my birthday and then I've used it all this week. So yeah, two weeks. Now, one thing that I did pick up was this, um, because people keep talking about these and how good they are, and I am someone who can use these because I don't get a lot of breakouts, but I definitely get pimples that I could use these on, and these are the Mighty Patches, and I just got the Duo Pack because they have the invisible ones, and then they have the original ones, and I got it just to try them, and... I've already used them twice on two different pimples. I have to say that these work. Now they don't make your pimple disappear. To me, it kind of just makes it to a point where you can pop it and then it's gone. That's me. I like to pop pimples when they turn white. If they're red, I leave them alone until they turn white. So what this does is it pulls it all out to the surface to a point where you can pop it and then I pop it and then I leave it alone and then it heals. That's what's going on with this one right here. It's healing because I did use this the night before last and then it was ready to pop to like the, yesterday and I popped it yesterday. So I will give it that, but it doesn't just make it disappear if that makes sense. But yeah, I did go ahead and pick up the Mighty Patches as well. This little thing was $7 and it only comes with 12 patches. Okay, another thing that I picked up because I've really been wanting under eye mask. And so yeah, um, one thing I did pick up though are these Pacifica Eye Bright Under Eye Vitamin C Spot Serum Mask. So vitamin C and kelp and biocellulose patches. And these are just, I don't even know what these are for. They were just eye patches, so I wanted them. So vitamin C, antioxidant to support brightness, sea kelp, mineral rich hydration support, and that biocellulose extract, the plant 
plant-based and plastic free. So I'm guessing that's what the actual eye mask is made out of. It's plant-based and it's plastic free. There's no plastic. So yeah, these are super exciting. I just, I don't know, I've been wanting eye mask. I really do feel like they make a difference in the way your under eyes look and the way they appear and the way that they appear, especially if you're like me and even having trouble sleeping. I love me a good under eye mask. I also picked this up from Target, and this is the Ginger and Vitamin C Serum Shot. Serum Shot brightens dark spots and uneven skin tone. So because this is a serum shot, I only use this once a week. And I mean, I have so much vitamin C, like vitamin C oils and things like that. So I thought, I don't know what the ginger was supposed to do, but I do only use this once a week. And I guess because I only use it once a week, I haven't seen a change in really. Um, but I mean, it's so tiny and this was already like eight or nine bucks for this teeny tiny serum shot. So I don't know, but I mean, I'm going to use it up because I bought it and it doesn't smell weird. It actually smells really good. Okay. So now we can get into the stuff that I got from Ulta. This was probably like one of the smallest orders I had ever placed on Ulta because it's like, I wanted makeup for my birthday, but it was kind of also like, uh, okay. So one of the things I got from is i didn't even know that this was like a collab with i don't know if they're youtubers or what but i ended up picking up the bh cosmetics bff bronze uh, bff snatched face palette four color highlight blush bronze and contour palette and i didn't know that like i said i just saw the inside of it i just saw bff contour palette and i was like wow that's cute like maybe they're coming out with the bff line but i didn't know it was a collab so i really don't even know the people who this collab is with. I just saw this and liked it and grabbed it. These are pigmented, smooth, blendable, creamy, pigmented, like pigmented, pigment. Be careful, because the first day I used these, you guys, oh, I had a bronzer helmet, y'all. I had the bronzer helmet when I used this the last, the very first time. So yeah, I did go ahead and pick this up. Super good. They're very pigmented, very pretty. I'm not really a fan of pink highlighters, but these three right here yes pick it up you have to try it another thing that i did go ahead and pick up and i'm wearing these today are the lash couture naked drama lashes and the style ruffle these are so pretty i was saying in my favorites video that these are the perfect in between from like lash extension lashes so really natural lashes and dramatic lashes like this is the perfect in between and that's what i love about them because they're like i feel like my salon perfect 614s and my kiss 01s like i want those on days where i have on no eyeshadow maybe just a wing brows and concealer but whenever i have makeup like this that's still kind of light and it's not super dramatic I wanted something like this and so I feel like Kiss killed it with this. This is something that I've been looking for in lashes. So yeah, super excited to have these. Again, these are the Kiss um, Naked Drama in Ruffle. Try go Go find them. Okay, so one thing that I picked up, there's a lot in here that I picked up because of Raquel and then some of the things like Leela also talked about and Juicy Jazz talked about. I don't know exactly. So anyways, but Raquel kept talking about this Catrice Beyond Golden Glow Highlighter. You guys, this, I have it on today. That is that glow that you see all over my flipping face. It's creamy, it's intense, it's pretty. New, like new favorite highlighter. I've only, this is only my second time using it today, but I can already tell you, like this is gonna be in my March favorites. Like I just already know. I just already know. So expect this in my March favorites. And if I don't mention it in my March favorite, that's probably because I'm forgetful and I forgot to mention it. But this is bomb.com. The next thing I picked up, and as you guys know, it's very rare that I buy a high-end foundation or anything like that. But I did want to go ahead and pick up, I already took it off the box, was the Urban Decay Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. I like this, you guys. If you're oily, either use super mattifying primers and a mattifying setting spray, but it, it the finish is beautiful. The coverage is great. The formula is really good and it is hydrating. 
super hydrating but because it's so hydrating it might make you oily girls super duper oily so i would just say be careful with that not saying stay away from it because there's definitely ways that you can make this work for you but if you just know that you know that you're not going to like it then don't go but if you are dry and you need something that's not going to cleanse them dry patches that's not going to emphasize your dry pat like just if you just need something that's going to make you look like you drank 13 gallons of water today buy this high hydrator buy it i like it i really do like it okay so i did i had only seen a first impressions on this so i bought this just because huh i'm dry i kind of like light coverage a lot of the foundations i have right now are full coverage and that's why i don't do my makeup a lot that's why i picked this up now these right here i picked up because leela juicy jazz raquel they all rave about these i agree with raquel the peach one has It's like it wants to smell good, but it just can't. It smells like a tree. Like it smells like a tree with a little bit of peach. That's what it reminds me of. So I don't know, but these are really good. And then I also have the shade Acai. Acai? Acai? So it's like Acai. This one smells really good. And this one's really pretty. This is what I have on my lips right now. And it really does just make your lips look super glossy. And like, look at that. <laughs> it's not gritty. So... Anyways, this one smells really good. This one's really pretty and that's the only reason I got it because it has a little bit of shimmers in it with that peach tone. But if you're somebody who's sensitive to smell, don't get this peach one. Don't get it because you're not going to like it and it's going to bother you. This one smells good. I would definitely pick up more of these, but I have a lot of glasses right now and I'm going to do a declutter soon. And after I declutter, I'll see what, but yeah, I'm going to declutter a lot of my lip products and we'll see how many glosses I have standing and then we'll decide if I buy more or not. But so far so good and that's why i did go ahead and pick up these two okay another thing that i bought because of raquel she would not stop talking about this so i had to try this is the physician's formula matte minoy butter bronzer you guys i have swatches all over my hand right now so please ignore those but you guys look at how black this is like what and this is a brush tip so you have to be kind of careful one thing i did notice when i used it the other day is that like once it dries, you cannot go in with another coat. So you better do all your perfecting and everything like that while it's still wet. Because once this dries it's and you try to go in with another coat, it's going to start to crumble and flake. And you don't want that. So one coat is best. And do what you got to do on that first go. Like, that's all I'm going to say. Because I did try this already. And so, yeah. That's what I got to say. But, like, so matte and so black, though, you guys. It's insane. Insane. Okay, another thing that I picked up, remember how I was telling you guys that I was obsessed with the word marshmallow right now for some reason? Not actual marshmallows, but I feel like marshmallow is just such a pretty word, like marshmallow, marshmallow, marshmallow. Anyways, so I did go ahead and pick this up, and this is their marshmallow primer. I have no idea on the claims on it, and if you're wondering why I picked up minis of the primers, it's because I have a lot of primers, and quite frankly, you guys, it's going to take me forever to go through one primer. My face is big, but it ain't that big, and so that's just what it looks like. I don't feel like it has a scent. Yeah, I don't feel like it has a scent, and I'll have to look up the claims and post them for you guys, but I just picked this up because I saw that uh what would lizzie do talked about this and she really really liked this i was like okay gotta try it so i picked it up but i didn't want the full size in case it was expensive because the full size of this thing is like 17 or 18 bucks this little teeny tiny one that you see was eight bucks so i mean yeah we're gonna see about this and we're gonna like, like we're just gonna see we're gonna see but anyways yeah okay so now getting in to what i got from sephora and this is the most exciting because i don't ever purchase from sephora and a lot of this i've been eyeballing forever and again many of some of the products because i have so many of these products that it's like when am i ever going to go through a full one so one of the first things that i picked up because i'm actually getting in to cream and liquid blushes was the rare beauty stay vulnerable melting blush and i got the shade newly neutral if you're wondering where all my trash is going i have a trash bag underneath my desk my table and i think that these are so cute you know what these remind me of like little pill cases Am I the only one that gets that? Like, you, like, or like little mint, like, like if you have mints in here or something, that's what this little packaging reminds me of. And so this is the shade Nearly Nude, and it is so pretty. And the funny thing is, I bought the Soft Pinch Blush, uh, Soft Pinch Matte Liquid Blush, 
and they're basically the same colors that I picked up. So yeah, I picked up this one in um, nearly nude or ne nearly neutral. So pretty. I can't get over this. I might set this on my desk because it is so cute. And then I also picked up the soft pinch blush in the shade love. And this is what I mean. Like these shades are so, so simple. Well, maybe not now that I'm looking at them in the light. Yeah, they're not similar now that I'm looking at them in the light. But whenever I ordered them online, I was like, those kind of look the same, Allie. They kind of look the same, but I'm glad that they didn't. They're actually very dis different. This is like a burnt orange color, and this one's more of a mauve neutral color. So, yeah, but I did go ahead and pick up two of these. And you guys, you don't need a lot. You do not. I cannot stress this enough. You do not need more than half a dot. You don't, you guys. You don't. So, if you're wondering why it looks like I have on a lot of blush, blush today is because I do. I have on a butt ton of blush because... Your girl went ham whenever she put this on. <laughs> Your girl went ham. Okay, the next thing that I did go ahead and pick up was this mini airbrush flawless finish. Flawless? Flawless finish powder from Charlotte Tilbury. Tilbury and I got my shade in the, I got mine in the shade two medium. So this is just what it's looked like. And it's cute because it's like the same as the blush. I love buying minis. They're so cute. And this was still 25 bucks for a mini. So there's that and that's just what it looks like so yeah it's super cute and honestly like it already has brush marks in it because it's so soft but I do agree my skin looks soft and smooth definitely should have baked by my nose instead of using this to set it down but yeah I'm gonna have to keep testing this out to see if this little one's even worth 25 bucks but I just bought it because this is something that has been raved about over and over and over again by so many people that I watch that I just wanted to try it out for myself Okay, another thing I picked up, and I was not going to buy the full size of this because you know a full size stuff of milk makeup is ginormous with these sticks. And like, I was like, I'd rather have something that's super teeny tiny than something that's ginormous that I will never go through that will probably spoil because I could never go through that because I just don't even do my makeup that much. So I did go ahead and pick up the mini baked bronzer contour stick and I'm really excited about it. I also have one of their mini blushes that I've had forever. And that's why I didn't want the big one of the bronzer because I don't even go through the blush that fast. But yeah, I really like it. I have it on today underneath and it's so pretty, so blendable and so easy to work with. Absolutely love this, but I did go ahead and pick up this as well. Okay, another thing that I picked up, and like I said, another mini. And the reason I picked up mini of primers because I have a lot of primers and I just don't do my makeup that much in order to buy full size products, you guys. Like maybe if I didn't use as many different makeup products or want to try different things for different videos. Like if I was just somebody who didn't do makeup on YouTube and I only needed one primer, only needed one foundation, only needed one cream blush, like I would buy the big sizes of a lot of stuff, but I'm just not somebody who does that. So I did go ahead and pick up a mini of the Smashbox Prime smashbox primerizer and who knows maybe i'll like this and i will get rid of all my other primers and only stick to this and then i will buy a full one but yes this is the smashbox photo finish primerizer primer what so yeah that is what this looks like i did go ahead and i'm so scared to squeeze out a lot oh that's weird that's look that's more liquidy than i thought it would be a lot more liquidy. It smells good too. It smells like coconut. It smells like the Hangover RX one. I used to have that one. So yeah. And then the last thing I bought from Sephora was this. And I could have swore at one point, wasn't Dominique Cosmetics sold at Ulta or am I tripping? I could have swore at one point Dominique Cosmetics was sold at Ulta. But anyways, this is what we have is I bought the latte palette and I'm so excited. I used this on my eyes today and I love it. Bryson Hush. And this is, I mean, everybody knows what this looks like. Like, oh, I love it. I love, you guys, these are so smooth, so pigmented, so blendable, and just so good. So, so good. I'm glad that for my one high-end eyeshadow palette, I chose to buy this one. Like, I could not have been happier. I love this. So, I have this one as my transition shade. I set my lid down with this one. This one in the crease and then I have this one like right 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 on the outer edge of the corner and then I oh so I have I guess I could tell you the name caramel vanilla cream pumpkin spice double shot and then I have creme brulee all over the lid doesn't really look how it looks in the pan look does it I don't know I feel like that's a lot lighter than what it looks like on my eyelid or like on my eyelid it looks a lot lighter than in the pan but yeah I absolutely love this palette I'm so excited that this was the one thing that I bought and I just so 
yes oh so excited that i got this i just like how the little mirror in here that says every day is a fresh start you show right and his mercies are new every morning the lord's okay so now we're gonna get into some birthday gifts obviously the birthday gift from sephora the one that i chose was the laneige one and it just has their water bank moisture cream so i assume that this is for the daytime and then it has the water sleeping mask and then it has the lip sleeping mask now surprisingly like the lip sleeping mask is tiny so it looks like it's gonna be big but you don't get a lot of product y'all so yeah just decided to grab that because mostly for the lip sleeping mask okay and so some other gifts that i got were actually from one of my sweet friends and karina and my sissy so my sister actually got me this santi beauty um hyper diamond ex wait what is this called santi beauty hyper diamond explosive eyes and it's just this double ended like crown like pencil i think that this is really pretty i put the purple one on my inner corners today i just think that that's so pretty like if you want a glittery lid without like the glitter and metallic like i feel like this would be good to put all over the lid and then just blend out and that is so pretty like look at how pretty those are then she also got me this um px look cosmetics tutti fruity scented lip gloss and my niece actually picked this out so i was like okay she's so cute but y'all this is like a bubblegum pink lip gloss so i would definitely have to put a nude lip under this because i just don't like the way pink makes my teeth look i just don't but yeah there's that it smells so good they smell some gum like a juicy fruit gum it smells really good but yeah that's just what that looks like and then karina is so sweet she knew that i had been eyeballing this and wanting this and this is this infallible fresh wear 24 hour um face powder you guys if you guys did not know it's really hard to find this powder anywhere because it went super viral on tiktok of people using this and i can't wait to use it like my everyday makeup routine with just concealer and then put this all over my face i'm gonna try it and if you guys want a review and wear test on this as well let me know you know i will do it and it will be just my everyday makeup routine with this as the primary foundation and wear test so yeah absolutely so excited to try this and i got the shade um I believe it's golden beige yeah 140 golden beige and that's actually the same color that i am in in their liquid foundation is golden beige okay so my sweet sweet friend got me this and i'm so excited because i wasn't expecting this when this came in i actually thought it was my sephora order and it wasn't and i was just so shocked and in awe and i was just like oh my gosh so she got me the collection of the mini abh uh, norvina palettes and so these are so flipping cute. So this one, we are going to start in order. So this one is actually a mini of volume one. And this is so stinking cute. So the mini pro pigment palette volume one. And I was like, oh, like, look at that. My favorite color is purple. Could this be any more perfect? Like springtime, where are you at? Like, oh my gosh, these are so, so cute. So that is volume mini volume one. And then we have a mini volume two. I think I think the packaging on these is so freaking cute. <gasps> and look at this one, you guys. Like what? Like I need spring to get here. Get here now, please. These are so pretty. 